Hello everyone, this is Technocean and I welcome you to World Technofast. Today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to download the latest uh, version of Microsoft Windows that is Windows 10 from Microsoft. So without wasting time, let's start. So I'm searching pledges. Pledges, fingers, disk, image. So you are, you have to search it. You have to click on the first link that is from Windows www.microsoft.com software download download Windows 10 disk image file. Click on it. So this is the home page of Microsoft. You can download the latest version from here. So here is create Windows 10 media installation media. Download tool now. First, you have to download this tool. So it's here is starting. It will take some time after after completion. We can we will open it. So it's, it's only a uh, eighteen MB. Remember now we are going to create. Windows, you know, we are going to download the Windows latest image from Windows Tool. This tool will help us to install the latest Windows from Microsoft. So it's complete. So let's open it. I'm clicking here and show in folder. Let's see. So here is the file media creation tool 204. So you, from here you we can uh, see the version of the latest Windows is 204. Now I'm going to install this file on my PC. Run as administrator. getting a few things ready so it's now I remember you have so here is the window of the clickable notice and lifetime terms so you just have to accept this So here it is, what do you want to do, Up upgrade this window, upgrade this PC now, uh, this is Windows 8, so I don't want to upgrade this, I want to make, so click on here, cre cre create installation media, USB, flash drive, DVD or ISO file for another PC, choose the language, language United States and uh, this definition Windows 10, that's fine architecture so here you have to select that uh, the windows version you want to choose 32 bit or uh, 64 operating system so whatever version uh, which uh, you you have you have to click fine this piece is 64 bit so i'm i i'm clicking on this and then next 
So this is an important step to which media you media to use. If you want to install Windows 10 on a partition you need to create and then run install. So here you have to if you are you want to make creation file on USB you can click on this but I am doing this uh, but I want an ISO file of Windows 10. So ISO file you will need to burn yeah this is the letter step just and click next now I have to choose where I, uh, to download it. So I'm choosing the download folder and here I'm creating a new folder named as uh, Windows Windows 10 then open this folder and save the Windows ISO file here. So the downloading Windows 10. So now feel free to keep using your PC. Yeah, you can use your PC for the download process is going on. The progress is zero percent. This progress depends on the internet speed, whatever your internet speed you have. Probably it takes um, an hour if you have good internet. If not, then it can take two hours and more than that. So let's start. Uh, let's see how much time it takes. Uh, wait for wait till it's completely downloaded. So uh, after that, we will complete. After after that we will download has been complete after an hour because there is also a slow internet in my area. So now let's let's open the download folder. Here is the download folder and uh, Windows 10. This is the Windows ISO MS. Let's check its properties. What's the size of it's a 3.85 GB so it's a huge file now how to create how to boot this because this is ISO file so if you, if you want to uh, make a, uh, or if you want to make Windows using this ISO file we have to make a boot for that we have to download Ruffers. Do you know about Ruffers? If you join, then just type Ruffers. Ruffers, the official website. I'll, I'll download the software from the official site. So, so you can, how that is, just check about the link above the title. This is Ruffers.ie. This is the official site. Click on this. So this is the official site of Ruffers. Ruffers is a, is a software by which we create Windows bootable file. So this is the this is the latest version of Ruffers. I was saving the old version, that's why I showed you people to download this latest version. So from here. This is the latest update, Ruffers 3.11. This is a small size, so you have to download this one. After downloading Ruffers, you will create a, a, a bootable a file of Windows using a USB or pen drive. So, barely you should have a pen drive. So, it's saying you have to complete 1.129 or it's complete. The refers has been downloaded. Now I am click show in folder. Here is refers 3.11.exe. This is the exe file. Click on it. Run as administrator. Yes. Do you want to allow refers to check for application updates online if you are connected to internet? 
then this uh, message you will sh show in your studio if not then so yes click on next yes this is the new version of refresh so here you have to mm -mm. first if you want to make the window bootable you should have a big pen drive at least 8 gb this is 16 gb pen drive so just i am Mm. So this is detected by Rafa's that uh, pen drive name is Technosham and just boot section disk or image that is so here, here we have to select the ISO file that is the ISO file of Windows 10 which we currently downloaded click on the download folder this is Windows 10 and we have to choose this open it no uh, let it let this setting default and click on ready. Warning all the down the device so the pen drive should be empty, otherwise, it will format it. So remember, keep in mind. So now it's a uh, start, it will take a little than um, more than uh, more than one minute, but uh, less than five minutes. Yeah, if you are connected to internet, uh, the speed boost because uh, the the refs uh, make their file easy if not it will take some time stay tuned until this done if you are updating your windows to new version so you should have to move the files which are on partition C I mean in this partition for example the files in desktop and the files in document maybe your uh, important documents would be here like I have this so you should have to uh, cut this and you have to paste them in the other partitions except C you can move them to here and here this is uh, the encrypted for partition and also in this download folder because all these files will be um, deleted after when I will make a new windows I'll show you after this so please make sure you, you have uh, copied or uh, you have moved these files the necessary files so I'm moving these pictures I need them. Control Z and I'm copying and moving them to be a text of one and these are but in camera I'm making another folder inside side. I also check all the folders, desktop, pictures, videos, maybe there. this is a structure to relationship, this is somehow, this has importance to me, so I am pressing the control Z key and I am moving this to desktop 1 creating folder I'm doing this because after the process of boot will complete we are going to do a new window that is Windows 10 which we have downloaded so this is, is this not complete so I'm just moving the files on partition C which are going to be deleted after when I will when the windows will update check the folder music as well radio is done so, so this is it's not done so let's see 
this this morning. But all of them, the important files, I have moved them to uh, other partitions except C because after Windows, all the files in C are going to delete. So it's, it's done. We have made bootable pen drive, so now we can uh, we can do Windows, the latest Windows. We have two Windows, ten Windows, ten letters. So now, now I will. Now I'm going to change the Windows <coughs> by through BIOS so I, I could not able to make the video of the BIOS now it's easy now my PC is getting restart remember to press the step key so that the settings will appear in the screen now I'm what actually doing is I'm looking for the boot direct options. I can press the F9, F9 key here on the keyboard as well. So here is the option, leave, select. So I have the windows in the USB hard drive generic master. So I'm just pressing enter. So they press any key to reboot. Now I'm pressing some keys from keyboard. Now the window is getting start. Left row. Now I want to shift to Windows 10, the latest version. So this is the setting you can see here. As you have to choose the language to install by default it's United States so I'm letting it just clicking next so you have to install now this windows now set up starting if if you don't have the product keys right now we don't have product keys we can manage them later in settings we can uh, buy them from Microsoft but uh, now we just keep this step here I don't have product key just click on it select the operating system you want to install Windows 10 and there are different versions of the, uh, Windows 10. It's up to you which version you want to install. So I am doing Windows 10 Education. And this, this architecture is 64 bit. And pressing next. So this is the license agreement between the end user and Microsoft. You just have to accept the license. If you want to read, you can read, but you can take time. This step is very important. Which type of installation do you want? Here you have to choose if you want to do a fresh installation, you always have to choose custom install windows only. This is the advanced mode. So here you have to select the partition where you want to install windows so this is the careful step you should think and you should know where you want to install the windows by default the cursor is on drive 0 partition 2 it means that here is the previous windows so you can if you, you if you don't know where the previous windows was just if you don't know then it's a little bit problem but you can let it by default because the computer knows where the system 
the files are. So you have to uh, just format this partition. Click on for, for, uh, format this partition might contain so press OK. Now the partition is going to be format. Yeah. You can also delete this partition to make a build to make a, a very new partition. Just click on this and create new. So all that is you have to let by default and click apply. So the new partition will be appeared here. The size is 9.7 GB. Now you have to click next and the window is going to be installed in this partition. So Installing Windows status. Now the installation of Windows is started and it would take and 30 minutes to complete this installation. Don't need to turn off your PC if there is a charge. There is no charge then please can plug in your adapter to stop it and the tune take some time the installation is going on getting files ready for installation with 89 percent so this is the main installation file it, it takes some time the other the other files are very quick they don't take too much time So this is done, this is the insta installing prepared and this is finishing up. Windows is restarting. By default it would it would start in 10 seconds, you don't need to turn your PC. So in this step you don't need to press any key. The Windows mm -hmm. will ask you to press any key, but if you press any key that would that would start from the beginning. So let it by default the Windows will process. To skip this taking press any key within four seconds. That it the windows will perform the basic So this is done, let's start with region, is this right, so you have to choose your region, so I belong to Pakistan, this is United States, I'm going to change it, English, Pakistan, mm. there is Pakistan, uh, from Pakistan. Is this the right keyboard? Yeah, yes, it's the right keyboard level. One, two, three. 
We want to create a second keyboard layout Tag now to Let's connect to your network mm, I'm just connecting to my network I have connected to the network now we have some important setup to do this step will also take some time we will wait for this step So we are going to use this PC and just click on next and password because right now don't want to make password in this PC so choose privacy settings for your device I read this Line. I accept this. You need to read those. If you don't want to accept, you can reject. You do more because the rest of my chip don't want to. It's nearly ready. This is the last step. Yes. So the installation has been completed. This is the desktop of Windows 10. This is the latest Windows currently. This is the latest version. You can see that a slight difference is there from Windows 8 and previous versions of Windows 10.